my soon to be wife and best friend. Oh God. Feels pretty cool to write that down. Like I always say, thank you for swiping right and wearing that football scarf in your Tinder photo. <laughs> I know it's so much more than a simple swipe. The journey we have shared so far is only just the beginning. To see where we go in our lives together fills me with such excitement. Holy shit, we're getting married today. James, I struggle to find the words for today, so I'll start with a quote I, he I heard and can't stop thinking about. I didn't fall in love with you, I walked into love with you, with my eyes wide open, choosing to take every step along the way. I do believe in fate and destiny, but I also believe we are fully fated to do the things we choose anyway, and I'd choose you. In a hundred lifetimes, in a hundred worlds, in any version of reality, I'd find you and I'd choose you. Loves match. In this game of life, remember that victories are sweeter when shared. Just like a triumphant goal, celebrate your achievements together, knowing that your love is the ultimate prize. And when faced with challenges, let them be mere hurdles to overcome as the best players rise to the occasion. Through the ups and downs, remember to always be each other's biggest fans. Like loyal supporters cheering for their beloved club, stand by each other's side, offering encouragement and providing a shoulder to lean on when the going gets tough. Just as the football pitch is a canvas for endless possibilities, your love story is yours to write. Make it one for the record books, filled with thrilling comebacks, breathtaking moments, and a deep bond that surpasses any defeat. So here's to a marriage built on the foundations of love, trust, and respect. May your lives be filled with the same exhilaration that comes from witnessing a last minute goal. And may your love continue to score match after match for all the seasons yet to come. worrying you'd ghost me, that our first date was a sign of things to come. Your beautiful personality came across straight away, and the fact that you outdrank me. I'm incredibly lucky to have such a beautiful partner in crime, facing all our challenges together with you by my side. Your talent, humour, smile, all made me realise you are the one for me. I really can't imagine a single day without you being there. Thank you for standing with me and inspiring me to be the best version of myself. I'm so proud to see how you have brought everyone together on this special day. I knew none of this would have been possible if it wasn't for you. Promise to always be the best person I can be as your future husband. I love you with all my heart. Now go and get yourself ready. See you soon, James. I can't believe how lucky I am to have you by my side. You listen, you laugh, you give, you care. You complete me in every sense. And since the day I laid eyes on you, I could never imagine life without you. You walked into my life when I was at my lowest and without even recognizing your power, you lifted me up and changed my life for the better. I know you know how excited I've been for today but the truth is, I'm more excited for what's to come. For the huge life moments, to the lazy, mundane Sundays, and everything in between. You're my haven, and I love you more than I could ever put into words. I know you wanted to say more when we stood at the end of that aisle, but all I need to say is, I do. Today, tomorrow, always. P.S. <laughs> Why do cows have hooves? because they lack toes. Yes, that, that, is, that, that, was, that, was, that was where I caught her. 
See you at 2 p.m. Don't be late. Love you, Emma. I, James Michael Brooks, take you, Emma Barlow, to be my wedded wife. I promise to love you always, to, to be true to you alone, to share happiness and sorrow, to honour you and to show respect at all times. I, Emma Barlow, take you, James Michael Brooks, to be my wedded husband. I promise to love you always, to be true to you alone, to share happiness and sorrow, to honour you and to show respect at all times. The purpose of marriage is that you may always love, care for and support each other through all the joys and sorrows of life and that love may be fulfilled in a relationship of a permanent and continuing commitment and we trust that these things may come true for you both. You've both made the declarations prescribed by law and you've made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses, your family and friends here this afternoon. All of us gathered here wish you both joy and happiness in your new life together. So James and Emma, it is my privilege and my absolute pleasure to say you are now lawfully married. Congratulations, you are now husband and wife. And James, you may kiss your beautiful bride. What I want to talk about today, guys, is, um, is why we're all here together, okay? What I want to talk about, people, is love, love, because, because that's why we're all here. All of you are here because of the love that you have for Emma or James. You're all here because of the love that they have for you. So, and that's true because whatever you, whatever you think, wherever you think love comes from, whether, whether, you, whether you think it comes from, whether you think God is love and love is God, or whether you think it is a Dawkinsist adaptation to, uh, to uh, evolutionary adaptation to life, love is real. And it's, it's a wonderful thing. And the most, the most wondrous love and the, the, the most amazing thing about love is the love that two strangers who've 
you know, born strangers who meet. <clears throat> and, and decide that they're gonna spend the rest of their lives together. That is the most, the wondrous and real, wonderful love of all. There are many people in this room, some of them I love, they know I love them. Uh, I don't know everybody. Uh, but you're all here because of love. And I think, I think it's important to, to know that. Now, um, people have asked me today, are you proud? Yes, I'm proud. But my overwhelming emotion today is, is happiness. I'm so very, very, very happy. Uh, for these two people, sat to my right. The thing I want to say about Emma, both Emma and James, is um, they're, they're good-hearted, um, hard-working, decent people. Uh, and I'm so, <laughs> I'm so glad that they found each other because... Um, and you, you've made some vows today, and uh, I truly believe that you will fulfill those vows. So that's all I wanted to say. You're all here because you love Emma and James and because they love you. And um, the bride and groom, Emma and James. take up too much of your time but there are a few things a bride and groom should say and share on their big day so on behalf of my wife and I so we'd both like to thank everyone for coming today it means a lot to us both that we've got a family and friends here with us on our special day to those that may have flown from abroad across the country local thank you we really do appreciate the effort especially for those people who might have had to take two days annual leave so thank you for that um, I'm sure it's obvious to you all, but days like this don't just happen by themselves. We've both been planning this day for over a year after my Valentine's Day proposal. Sorry. Emma has been planning this day for over a year. But it's safe to say Emma had a vision, and credit where credit's due, I'm sure we'll all agree the venue looks absolutely stunning today. Caroline and Steve, thank you for always making me feel part of your family. One, light, on, one highlight has to be cooking a barbecue in the snow a few winters ago. That was quite surreal. It was good fun. I do recommend it. It's a bit weird, but it's good fun. Wear wellies. Also, thank you for taking me into your city community. <laughs> I truly have been blessed seeing some great football the last few years. I know how much Emma and I absolutely value your support and helped us make this day so special, but I am just pleased I'm not a Liverpool or United fan. And talking of my wife, I'm sure everyone will agree that she looks absolutely stunning today. We've shared so many happy memories together from meeting in Didsbury, lockdown in Surrey, and now living at large in Reddish. Cheers, Reddish. I'm so excited to see what our journey together looks like and seeing what the future holds. Love you. Um, but there is an important announcement to make, hot off the press. New signing, Emma Barlow. She signed up for a record lifetime deal. There we go. Thank you. 